Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to farm compressed Chia plots created using the recently released Chia Horse software by Mad Max. Chia Horse can compress plots using your GPU, but these are not recognized by the existing Chia farmer. So Mad Max has really specific farmer that can farm these compressed plots as well as your regular existing ones. Let's run a couple of compressed plots together using my GPU. Let's see the times I'm getting and let's go over steps you need to take to start farming these new guys. Let's get into it. Okay, since the release of Gigahorse GPU Plotter, we were able to compress K32 plots either full in RAM with 256 GB or partial in RAM with 128 GB. We did it, that in under 7 minutes and you haven't checked out my video, please go and, and do that. We went over the usage um, and the different parameters. We use an HP A40 with 128 GB in RAM and an SSD file for the temporary folder. Since that's, that release, I found out today that uh, GIA uh, Mad Max released a new version that supports uh, 64 gigabytes partial in RAM. So here it says it's now supported with the GIA Horse Q Plotter, and that's the link to the new version. So we, you can, if you don't have 128 gigabytes, and if you have 64, you can now run uh, a compressed plot uh, using your GPU, uh, but at least you need at least 64 gigabytes. The only thing is uh, the compressed plots can only be recognized by Chia Horse uh, Farmer, not the regular Chia Farmer. So you need to download this new released uh, version of uh, Chia Horse Non Farmer V1.6.2 Giga 5, and you're gonna be able to recognize the compressed plots. Um, here it says the release provides Chia blockchain binaries to farm compressed plots created with the new plotters providing this repository. Uh, the compressed plot harvester and farmer are not compa compatible with the official Chia node. It only works together with the Chia horse node. However, it is possible to use a wallet from the official Chia repository instead of the Chia horse binary. If you have your Chia wallet, you can keep using that. You just download the farmer and you're gonna be able to recognize the new, the new compressed plots as well as the existing Chia plots uh, and you can keep the same wallet. Okay, if you have a Windows machine like me, Go ahead and download this file. This is uh, github.com slash madmax x43v3r slash chia dash gigahorse slash releases. You can see, you can find the, the farmer there. I'm gonna download the Windows version. Go ahead and do that. After you download the file, you're gonna see all these folders um, and chia.xe here. And you see all these DLLs, all the libraries for chia. And you got, you're gonna see these command um, files here that we can execute. Uh, from the uh, README file or site here, you can see um, the usage for Windows uh, is generally the same as normal for Chia. The Chia.exe star farmer, far summary, plot NFT show, show minus X. So we, we're gonna kind of uh, do the same commands we, we, we are used to do uh, from the command line. Uh, for Chia. So let's go ahead and go back to the folder where you extracted and run uh, start farmer. So we're going to start the farmer here. Double click. It's going to open up Chia command line here. Let's see. Demon not started yet. Starting demon. Chia harvester started. Chia farmer started. Chia full node started. Chia wallet started. So the good thing is this farmer recognizes your existing configuration wallet and your config file on, on where you run your normal Chia farmer. Uh, and now uh, there's nothing nothing else to be done. Now we need we need Chia plots, compressed Chia plots using Chia Hort. That's all uh, we need because we don't have right now on this machine. Okay, and I just run a command here that slash Chia farm summary to get the farming status. To get how, I can see here how much Chia farms. I have some farms so far, 24.25. In rewards, um, this is my, these are my existing rewards with my existing wallet. So the farmer recognizes that. Uh, it also can see that on my local harvester I have 1839 plots, and my in the remote harvester I have 1169 plots. These are all regular chia plots, but today we're gonna create some new chia horse uh, compressed plots in this uh, remote harvester. So we should see this number 
increase in terms of uh, number of plots. We're gonna add some compressed plots right now. Um, and then we're gonna see that the Chia farmer doesn't recognize them and then we'll see how the new Giga, uh, Giga horse uh, farmer does. Now I'm in the folder where I have downloaded the CUDA underscore plot underscore K32 executable file. You should download the appropriate file depending on the K size. Uh, this is K32, so make sure you, you have the underscore K32 executable. Um, and here what I have is uh, that PS1 uh, file, which is the PowerShell that I'm gonna be executing. So I'm gonna right click on this file, edit. And then you can see here, CUDA plot uh, K32 minus N, which is the number of plots. Let's create two in this case. Let's make it short uh, just for the test. Uh, minus capital C is the number of the level of compression. I'm gonna be doing seven. And then you have the, the first temporarily, temporal folder is minus T. So I'm gonna be replacing this with F. The secondary temporary folder is minus two. I'm gonna be using G. And the final destination is minus D, lowercase d. And for that case, I'm gonna be using H for this computer. Minus capital M is the, the share memory. I'm gonna limit that to 64. So I don't, I don't uh, crash the, the system. I had that problem in the past. And then you have two more flags. Minus lowercase p is the pool contract address. Make sure you have the right one. I'm, I'm, I'm farming on a pool and space pool. And then minus f is your farmer's uh, key. So we got everything that we need. I'm gonna save this and execute it. All right, right click on the file, run with PowerShell. And there we are, we are plotting right now, uh, creating a level seven compressed uh, plot, two plots right now. Number of uh, plots two, uh, share memory 58.9. So uh, we're, we're, we're plotting right now. We'll see how long it takes. All right, and the two plots completed. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, first plot com completed in 9.9 .9 minutes and the second plot here 8.35 uh, this is a little bit higher than the my previous video where we completed in seven seven and a half minutes uh, but in this computer kind of the same computer in this computer hp a40 i'm using a 37 3060 ti versus my other computer which is a 3070 ti so the the GPU play play into this uh, process and, and we got a little bit one minute and a half uh, probably it's lower than but the same compression level. All right, let's compare the two types of plots. These these are regular plots, uh, chia plots. So let's make a quick calculation here. These are uh, 106, 279. Let's take the first one, 592, 594. All right, that's a regular chia plot with no compression. And let's look at the just compressed ones here. Uh, you can see the two plots with, that we just created are 78 uh, gigs. So let's do minus 78, 215, 979. All right, so we, we, got, uh, a re we reduced the size of the plot by 28 gigs. Uh, which is uh, pretty significant. I mean, if we take divided by 106, let's say 106, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, we, we got uh, roughly 20, a quarter, 26% uh, of, 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 of the size, of the original size uh, in reduction, which is pretty good. So a quarter of, of the original size uh, in a level seven. Okay, and I just opened the uh, farmer, the Chia farmer, and I can see on my remote harvester here, you can see the initial plots were 1169 and the f and it's showing now fail two, which means uh, the Chia now is not able to recognize these two new compressed plots by Chia horse. So that's, that's, that's the way it works. That's why we need to install the Chia horse uh, farmer now. Um, so we should get about 1171 because it because that's uh, the new chia farmer recognizes both chia plots as well as the chia horse compressed one so we should get a number around 1171 
Okay, make sure you edit the config file and add the destination uh, folder. Let's go ahead and double click. Those are uh, at your user.chia mainnet config. Uh, there you'll find the config.yum uh, file. So go ahead and add the destination folder for the new compressed files. And I just did that. Uh, I added this location H. So you keep adding dash and the the letter of the drive colon slash and the and the folder uh, so I just added there at the root uh, uh, level of, of the H drive so I'm adding uh, now now Chia the, the new Chia horse farmer can see the compressed uh, plots okay and now with uh, the command Chia farm summary I just executed and says farming and I can see the two plots added to the 1169 here you see now we have 1171 so that means that the two uh, compressed plots by uh, gigahorse have been added to the total of the harvester so we are now both uh, farming uh, original chia plus the the chia i mean the compressed plots uh, by gigahorse a couple of things to take into account here uh, it says pool partial difficulty uh, to set the partial difficulty to 18 or more, otherwise your harvester will be overloaded with computing uh, full prof, uh, proofs. Um, and then the plot reload interval, uh, go ahead and check the config yum uh, file, which just uh, added the folder there. You search for harvester and then plots refresh your parameter. It has to be 3600 um, uh, seconds. So go ahead and change the default values of 120 seconds will cost too much CPU load with large plot count. So go ahead and change that. Um, here on the same page, this is the readme file. You have the Windows commands that we use to start the farmer or farm the summary. Um, and then something useful that I found was this uh, farming benchmark to test how many plots you can farm on a given system. You can use the proof of space tool in Chia POS. You click there, you download the version for Windows. And here's uh, how to use it. Uh, you can also limit the GPU usage and limit uh, RAM usage. So to to, to prevent like uh, to limit the, the amount of uh, resources you want to allocate to this specific process, right? Um, I did uh, run a proof of space check on a specific plot, and I just replaced the star with the specific uh, plot number. And there you have it: how to farm original Chia plots as well as gigahorse compressed plots now with using the gigahorse no farmer harvester um, i hope you guys like the video let me know if you have any questions or if you run into any problem uh, we'll try to address those uh, thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video